Western Ukraine, Chernobyl Oblast, mighty bastions of a medieval castle, a princely palace, interesting museum displays, a reenactment of an assault on the fortress and the majestic Bernardine Church, ancient buildings, delicious local cuisine and talented citizens. You can thoroughly enjoy all of this when you come to Zbarash. A resident of this town, local historian Ruslan Pitstavka will tell us everything about the history of his glorious and beloved native town. Greetings, we are pleased to welcome you to our town of Zbarash. My name is Ruslan. Today I will be your guide through this magical town and will take you on a tour and show you the most interesting historical and cultural sites of our ancient town of Zbarash. When you get into this small town, you will get the feeling that you are somewhere in the past. After all, the town of Zbarash is shrouded in the atmosphere of that time. The town of Zbaraj was named as such as it was in the place during ancient times that its inhabitants gathered to defend their territories. The origin of the name comes from the words Barakhti, to defend. They defended Zbaraj and nearby villages in the surrounding area from attacking enemies, in particular the Tatars. The name of the town, Zbaraj, was first mentioned in the Chronicles of 1214, which stated that the Polish prince Leszczak Beli, having failed to capture Halic, ruined the lands around Zbaraj. The town was named this way in transcriptions of the main sources. After some time, the town was renamed as Baraj. This name was the beginning of the reign of the glorious family of the Princess of Zbaraj. There are a lot of historical monuments in the town which date back to the end of the 16th and start of the 17th century. We will begin our acquaintance with this ancient town from the castle which for several centuries was the family residence of the princely families of this region. We welcome all tourists to the territory of this Barash castle. This is one of the few castles in Ukraine that has survived to this very day. These castles have been restored for future generations. The history of this Barash castle dates back to the beginning of the 17th century. In those times, the owners of this Barash lands, Princess Christopher and Yuri Zbarash, made a decision to build a new castle on these lands. The idea of building a castle was thought up by the Princess of Zbarash and was reflected in distant Italy. The fact is that at that time the Zbarski princes studied in Italy in the city of Padua. There they met the famous Italian architect Vincenzo Scamozzi and submitted to him a request to design the castle on the territory of Ukraine. During the year 1620-1630 the construction of the Zbarski castle was well underway. Unfortunately, in 1631 the last representative of the Zbarski clan, Yuri Zbarski, passed away and the castle was transferred to the position of the Vishnevetsky princes. During the 17th century they continued the construction of this Zbarski castle, strengthened its defense capacities and supported it to the state of combat readiness. If we are speaking about the fortification properties of this castle, then today there are plans to reenact the battle scenes of 1649 on the territory of this Barash castle. In 1649, a battle took place between the army of Bogdan Khmelnytsky and the army of the Commonwealth. The cavalry of Danil Nechai, which marched to the front of the Cossack army, approached Zbarash. The Cossacks began the assault of the fortified Zbarash castle, where the enemy was located. After some time, the main forces of the Cossack troops of Bogdan Khmelnytsky approached the fortress. The siege of the castle began and lasted for about seven weeks. And the modern reenactment of this battle allows viewers to witness the siege and assault of the castle and also to demonstrate the courage and valor of the soldiers of the Cossack army. After these heroic events of the 17th and 18th centuries, the Zbarash castle was transformed from a historical object into a simple estate and eventually went into ruin. Be that as it may, it just so turned out that the Zbarash castle was actually never destroyed, because there were always people who understood that after the loss of the defense capacity of the Zbarash castle, it was in fact preserved and remained a great monument in the annals of history and architecture. The modern Zbarash castle is both a palace and a fortress. It survived more than one siege, has been preserved to this day and remains an invaluable monument of architecture of the Chernobyl Oblast of the 17th century. Today this Barash castle is one of the few castles that has been preserved in Ukraine. This castle is also a museum, as it is not only a castle but also a fortification. In the center of Castle Square there is a beautiful Renaissance palace. 
The chambers of the two-story building serve as exhibition halls. Ancient and manuscript books, interiors of religious buildings of the 17th-19th centuries and a collection of weapons and armor are preserved here. We gladly invite you to come and visit our amazing Zbarash castle, to watch so that you can feel its history. If you like to explore the local landscapes, then you can climb the bastions of this Barash castle and see the beauty of the whole city. It is from there that you can see the main architectural dominant of Zbarash, the majestic old church. We are near the church of St. Anthony in Zbarash, where the solemn service takes place. Now we can go in and see the interiors. This church was built in 1723 with the assistance of Joseph and Stanislav Potocki. The monastery was built simultaneously with the castle, but the complex was preserved in a different form. In 1755 it was reconstructed in the Renaissance and Baroque styles. In the interiors, the so-called illusory painting was used. Partially preserved are the altars with sculptural decoration of the 18th century and fragments of mural painting. The building is really amazing. There was a secret passage from the church to the castle, which was laid when it was necessary to defend. But subsequently the tunnel gradually collapsed. These places keep a lot of secrets, so it is interesting to visit and learn from the local historians the history of their glorious town. After such a long and meaningful tour of the town of Zbarash, I invite you to this restaurant where you can taste local and European dishes. Hope the chef will pleasantly surprise you. From the medieval town there is an opportunity to travel to a completely different atmosphere. When you get to this restaurant you get the impression that you are in an exotic place. Palm trees, lemons, creepers and also the murmur of a waterfall create an atmosphere of peace and relaxation. But besides the fact that the restaurant is located in a real greenhouse, there's really unusual cuisine for these places. In addition to traditional Ukrainian dishes, the chef treats visitors with exclusive masterpieces. Now I want to treat you with our ribs and sausages, baked with potatoes in Zbara style. Bon appétit! Thank you! It looks like the ordinary pork ribs with sausage, but this dish has one feature. This is a unique author's marinade, the recipe of which is kept in secret. Meat is so tender and aromatic. Very tasty. Wonderfully cooked. All guests of our town should visit the restaurant and try this dish and other dishes that are prepared by excellent cooks in this restaurant. Zbaraj is a small town with a rich history, and for those travelers who are interested in the history of Ukraine, there are many interesting places. In addition to architectural monuments, here you will see interesting houses of long-standing construction. You can walk along the narrow streets that give the town a special touch. There's also the opportunity to get acquainted with talented citizens and see their work. Today we'll get acquainted with the craftswoman Halina Michalska, who got interested in needlework in her student years. <laughs> Perhaps age also plays a role, and you don't just want to make some vases, flowers, trees, some beads, a necklace. You want to reproduce something authentic in order to show how much you can develop. In the future I dream of making an old Ukrainian costume. I want to fully reproduce it as it was, with beadwork and embroidery threads in various techniques. She gives new life to antique beads, 
weaves exquisite guerdons and designer flower necklaces. Halina Mikhailska impresses with incredible imagination and talent. In her hands, the smallest details turn into interesting and fascinating compositions. Today she has more than a thousand works. She is an active participant of various exhibitions and festivals. She has the title of craftswoman and dozens of grateful students. I have students. I work in the studio of children's creativity. I have been working since 2009, for 10 years. I tell my children, it takes only 15 minutes. And when 15 minutes pass, the child already sees a small piece of work. I'm telling everyone that it's only 15 minutes to sit, work and there will be a result. When they see that they can do it well, they have a desire to work. Her works can be found in different parts of the world, in particular in the USA, Canada, Italy, Spain, Portugal, Germany. The woman was awarded the title of Craftswoman of Ukraine. During the workshop I will show hand weaving. Why is it interesting? Even traveling, you can take beads, a small plate, a lid and do needlework. Presence of large tools is not necessarily. So I got a bracelet using manual weaving technique. I can also demonstrate Gerdan, it is made using the same technique. This Barash Crafts woman admits that she cannot imagine her life without creativity. Ideas for new products appear during walks, trips and sometimes even in a dream. The local landscapes and the people who live in her hometown are inspired most of all. Today we saw the most interesting historical sites in Zbaraj, but you can see much more when you visit our beautiful town. We invite you to Zbaraj. Travel around Ukraine, discover new cities and tell the whole world about them. Let every journey be bright and unforgettable.